Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, what's your name, Mayor Bell? Bill Bell, Bell, Mayor of the City. Bell. Yes. Representative uh, Mickey Michal. As stalwart leaders, we're here to celebrate the opening of a highway for Dr. John Hope Franklin. What would you like to say about this moment and this occasion? Well, it's not just a moment, it's an occasion. It's where it's taking place in Haytown, uh, the heart of the black community, which was the heart of the black community, uh, which is, you've heard some people talk about how highways tend to destroy certain parts of the black community. Uh, this is one of the communities destroyed. I'm trying to bring it back, but I think it's important that we have this dedication on such an important occasion in this building uh, here in the Haytown community. So, this, this, this was the seat of the civil rights movement in America. Uh, we, uh, everything happened out of St. John Church. But the other thing is that John Hope Franklin was a very close friend of my family. Uh, I met him when I was seven years old. In 1937, when he first got here, he and my father hit it off. And the, 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 he would always correct me. I learned black history from him on a personal level. I didn't play it. Couple of speeches, and he would always correct me, let me know the difference between reconstruction and reconstruction. Yes, sir. And he had a different date for, than oh, W.B. Du Bois, who um, right. he, added it up to um, his, the NAACP in 1910. Was 1876, when Samuel Taylor yes. and brother could behave under the President of the United States. Samuel Taylor really won it, except for the, the uh, electoral vote. The Republicans came to the South and said, if you put our man in the White House, we will withdraw the troops. Wow. And that's when the anti-democratic party took, brought in Jim Crow. If we think about um, Dr. Franklin and his mirror of America, and we think about you and your, as seasoned leaders and auspicious leaders, and we think about civics today, what's some advice that you would have for young people in Durham in high school and college going to school and, you know, what kind of civic uh, advice would you have for young people today? Read his books. That's the best place to go. Read his books. What he's saying is learn your history. Yes, sir. You don't, you, you, you can't tell where you're going unless you know where you came from. Is, are there any policies in terms of the Durham plans that you would point us to as well? Well, I think the fact that we're trying to revitalize African-American neighborhood is one example of what we're attempting to do. If you just went across the street, you see some mixed income houses that are going up now. Yes, sir. Uh, some home ownership that's going up. Uh, we haven't forgotten the past. That's the good thing about Durham. Durham has a very rich African-American history, and we're doing all we can to try to let people not forget it, but by the same token, uh, pay attention to it and try to do it. Is there any advice for um, our citizens of Durham uh, approaching the new mayor? Well, again, get involved. Yes, sir. Involved. Come to city council meetings. Get Absolutely. Get involved. Absolutely. Mr. Michelle, any advice in terms of civics? We know that um, the the legislator started the founding fathers' principles and has, has all kinds of civic health ideas for our populace. Is there any advice that you would have? Well, as the mayor says, you need to become involved. You need to know your history so that you don't make the same mistakes you made in the past. You need to build on that history and you need to keep it moving, keep it moving forward. Uh, don't think that you are where you are today, that you've always been there. And don't think that you can't go back. Because the way the, the, the divisiveness that we're seeing in the political scenery today leads us right back to where we started from. I, I, I have a saying even right now that we have more from the 19th century to the 21st century forgetting everything that happened in the 20th century. We are so fortunate to have you two as stalwart leaders for decades leading the way with an earnest uh, humility and, and with a precision in terms of municipal leadership and state leadership. God bless you. God. Well, it's been a privilege for me. It's an honor.
to have been able to be a part of this, this community. And, uh, it's something that I, I never would have thought could have happened, but it's something that I'm very pleased and honored. Well, that's what we used to stand out on the corner and exactly. talk about. It. We were neighbors. Exactly. <laughs> we, were, we, we, we were neighbors. We were neighbors. And on the street lights. On the, on the street, on the corner street light. You know how black folks used to get on the street light and sing? Yes, sir. Do I? Uh oh. <laughs> well, this is Black Wall Street. Yeah. But, but we were talking politics. Yeah. Yeah. And before, before you do move out,